have something to share with you guys. I have an issue with this. Okay, okay, okay. We all know it's a mug. We use it every single day. And most of the time, after we use it, we forget about it. We leave it on our desk, in the kitchen sink, outside, or any other places that fits your habit. And if we forget about it, we take another cup. And again we forget, and we take another one to end up with a sea of mugs and cups all around the place. And the issue does not apply if you live alone. The issue amplifies when you live with multiple people under the same roof. So, I decided to contribute and I came up with an idea. Da -da -da -da! Yes, zodiac sign, I know. Might be a bit niche, but hear me out. We might choose from a billion possibilities for simple designs such as animals or flowers, but if you have difficulties choosing one, or if your cohabitants or roommates of kids can't compromise, you can't leave room for arguments because people can't change their birthday. And by chance, if you have different people under the same sign, you choose a different color for everyone. To design it, I worked in Blender. I'm only starting to grasp things on this software, so it will be fun. But first, let's make a sketch on paper. We had to come up with something simple that would be easy to incorporate on many mugs size and height. Here, we have roughly our mug on the side view and the clip would be shaped as such. The height of a mug is about 9.5 cm and the thickness 7 mm. We would have a long part going on the external side, about 3 cm, and a curled up part on the inside that would not touch the liquid about 9mm for that bit and 4mm for that one. Cool, I'm happy. Now, onto the 3D software. Let's start with the base. I'm going to print it alone first to see if the dimensions fit. Mmm, not the best. It's quite thin and I don't think it would stay on the mug. Let's make another one. This time, let's make the recess, so the small side, closer to the longer piece. That should do the trick. Right now, the front part begins. After drawing the shape on Illustrator, I tried to import it on Blender as it was only to have it closed. Maybe it's a viewing issue on Blender and in Tinkercad it would work. Nope. Great. I got lost on the internet trying to find an answer and there it is. I just need to disable an option in Blender. Now, I needed to see where I wanted my signs on the side of the clip, but I could not extrude the shape to fit the width of the clip. Why? A solution would be to convert my drawing as a curve. Then the extrusion should be fine. Ah, okay. Something simple again. Next step it is. Finally, we have our first clip ready to be printed. Oh, we have a weight pattern on that side. Meh. Kira might again make a mountain out of a hill. After Aries, we have Taurus on the Wheel of Zodiacs. Ah, I'm having the same problem, but this time the circle disappears. Even if I manually disable the option, it doesn't do much. Time for a little cheat. I'm just going to create another circle on top of the failed one and group everything together after being sure that all the pieces touch each other. Let's make the shape smooth and be precise when we join the two shapes. The last step is to apply the solidify modifier to make the shape bigger. I have some space between the shapes because of the modifier. Here, I decided to put a cylinder to hide it, but later I discovered that changing the offset resolves the problem. On to the 10 other signs we go!
While doing the others, the Scorpio and Pisces sign would not be rendered the way I wanted them to, even with the tricks we saw earlier. Maybe we do them again would help? Time for the final result! Again, the blood pattern. I hope it won't alter the prints. Damn it! Why didn't it work? I finally understood that the blood face on Cura meant that the shape is not manifold. Basically, faces are missing. Let's delete the inner faces that are useless and create the ones that are necessary. Another trick here is to clean up the doubles to have a lighter object. Let's hope now that everything is fine. I redid some of the signs so that they are better for the printing process. There it is guys, the final, final result this time. And it holds. I put all the files uh, on the Team Givers website and I've put in the description box below the link to my profile so you can see them out. This is it guys. Thank you very much for watching and staying till the very end. Don't hesitate to subscribe and check out my social. This will be appearing on the screen somewhere. And that's it. Thank you. See you next time, stay inspired.